So hello and welcome to the wrap up of this first part of our lecture. So what have we been looking at? And somehow keep in mind that what, have been, what we have been looking at is actually what you will be experiencing in the rest of the course. So this is your upcoming experience. So ASP, Answer Set Programming, is a viable tool for knowledge representation and reasoning. And you may remember the slogan, it is an integration of database techniques, logic programming, knowledge representation and non-monotonic reasoning and satisfiability uh, solving techniques. So more specifically, it allows us to solve combinatorial search and optimization problems. And they are more or less in the, in the, in the classes of NP and one level higher, sigma p2 or pi pi2, which is np to the power of np in, a, in another way. And what do we get? Well, what we get is, and again, this is still hand-waving since you haven't seen it, we get succinct, elaboration-tolerant problem representations. Elaboration-tolerant, again, this, this key feature of a knowledge representation language that says that if there's a small change in the world, it must be reflected by a small change in the representation of it. And I think ASP comes very close so that actually fits very well with that. What this then also implies is that you have a, a, a very nice rapid application develop a very nice rapid application development tool. I cannot even read my old slides. Oh well. Good. So and this is actually reflected by the experience we make in practice a lot. So no matter whether we have we have someone from academia or someone from industry who wants to use ASP and they want to work with us. So the idea is we ask them to, to bring along a toy example, something that you can solve on, on, on paper and pencil, write down what the problem is, what the solution is and so on, and then we sit together and model it. And usually after a few hours, and I'm talking two or three hours, we have a first model of this little toy example plus a problem instance or two. And then uh, this, this is already running. Of course, then this needs further iterations, but you, you usually get something to work very, very rapidly. And this is something you will be experiencing in the course, in particular in the practical uh, side of the course. So last but not least, just to finish the bullet here, uh, you, you get an easy handling of knowledge intense application. I think this is another unique selling point of ASP. It's for knowledge intense application. You can model uh, data, defaults, exceptions, frame axioms. Remember that the frame axioms are the ones that tell you how you go from one state in the world, executing an action, and how the next state looks like. And this is again, uh, this exceptions and defaults has all to do with how to deal with incomplete information. How do I fill it? How do I fill, take defaults to fill in the information? How do I deal with exceptions? And, and so on and so forth. And uh, well, reachability is another nice outcome of it, which you can formalize very nicely in ASP, where in a monotonic, actually in a classical logic, you have to go to the second order in order to capture. This is of course a little bit hand-waving, but let me just mention that. Okay, then finally, it, ASP offers you tools, toys to play with. I know, boys and toys. But anyway, it offers you an efficient and versatile off-the-shelf technology, off-the-shelf because you can just download it, you can look at the source code and, and uh, etc. To, to, to play with it. And we have bundled more or less our tools and our knowledge about this, links to other people's um, uh, tools and tutorials and so all at potasco.org, which I mentioned, I think, already a lot in the, in the organization section. And some of that these tools are effective is also mirrored by the fact, effective and versatile, right? So it's not just ASP, you can also solve a lot of other problems with this. That, for instance, class won not only the ASP competition a couple of times, but also uh, the CASC, MISC, PB and SAT competitions. And again, it's perhaps not so important what these competitions are now. And after all, and that's the most important thing, ASP has a growing range of application and it's good fun. And even though many of you may, may ask yourself, oh, where did I get into? At some point, you will, a, a new world will reveal it, uh, itself to you and believe me, it will be really good fun. Good. And so again, the take home message which you saw already is ASP is a combination of database, logic programming, knowledge representation and reasoning and satisfiability solving techniques. And if you're really picky on this, on, on, on this last part, but this is more or less for, for people who, who, who know about SAT and SMT, you can see it as an SMT approach with several uh, particular theories. Okay, anyway, so this concludes the well, first 
slightly technical part, right? To having, having a round trip about ASP and, and the course. And so this brings us to an end. And as I, as I said before, Auf Wiedersehen. And tomorrow isn't staying out. I'll be back without a doubt. Okay, stay tuned and bye.